Now, we've all been there as miniature painters. You've got your mini, and you're busy painting away, but of course, you know, the difficult thing is always holding it so that you don't cause any, any problems. I mean, here the orc has got a conveniently placed mace, and so you can hold that, but of course, you know, once you've painted the mace, unless you coat it with a bit of varnish or something, it's going to wear, and... Yeah, it's just not not so easy. Of course, let's see. But my other finger's touching its shield there, and then oh, I've just touched it again to move it around. I mean, it's just really not the greatest way of handling a miniature, so that you don't muck up the paint that you've already done, especially if it's a bit wet. So, what's the solution? Well, it's been around for quite a while. There's nothing new about this, but some clever soul invented a painting handle, and. Uh, well, I've gone and made a bit of a copy and uh, my own. So what it is, a painting handle is anything that you stick the miniature to. So you can stick it to a pot with a bit of blue tech. I mean, it's, this is a this is a fairly basic arrangement, but there's a piece of plasticine on there, and the mini sits on there, and you hold that, and it's all well and good. It works. It, it gets you gets you through. But is there something better? Is there something that can give you a better grip, better control over the miniature, and therefore more precision with where you put your paint? Well, yes. You could get a bigger painting handle. <laughs> and I've gone and made some. A good friend of the shop has um, seen that I do a bit of amateur wood turning and said, well, you know, a good thing for you to make, Tim, would be some painting handles. And so I did. And here they are. And this is basically a fairly straightforward piece um, it's just a, uh, a piece of oak just ordinary English oak which I've put turned a handle on so you can get a good grip of the thing there you see and it's got a flat surface at the top which you can stick a bit of blue tack plasticine whatever you like and then you stick your mini on top and there it is and then of course I just hold it on because I haven't stuck anything obviously but you can turn the thing around wherever you want so I made a few of those and they seem quite popular and people bought them, and uh, yes, yeah, you know, they're fine. But, but Tim, you know, if we're painting more than one miniature, what are we going to do? Do we have to buy lots of painting handles? You know, because one per one. And I got thinking about this, and there are other solutions on the market as well for this, but uh, this is what I came up with. Um, and they're all handmade. They're all made here at the uh, Miniature Heroes HQ. But what I did is I stuck a rare earth magnet in the end of it. And so there it is. Well, of course, on its own, it's no good. Miniatures aren't magnetic. They're made out of lead-free pewter or plastic, and it's, it's well known for its non-magnetic qualities. So you've got to put something on to magnetise it. And that's where that comes in. This is what I refer to as a cap. And it's just a little piece of oak, same diameter as the painting handle, but it's got a metal disc stuck into the bottom of it. And so what you do is you take your cap, you put on your adhesive material of choice. In this case, it's a bit of bees putty, which is very good for this, but you can use blue tack, plasticine, um, all other sorts of things. But because it's got a disc in the bottom, it fits straight on to the uh, painting handle. And there you go, you see, it doesn't come off. You can wobble it about a bit. There you are. Hope you're getting that. So you've now got a firm grip to have. This is my little painting rest as well I made that I bolted to the to the bench here, but that's your, your painting handle, painting cap on there, and miniature. And I'll show you. Here's, here's one I did earlier. This is a plastic uh, Reaper plast uh, Reaper Bones USA. They've got so many different plastics now. But there you go. So there you see that she fits on there quite nicely. And you can turn it over and it still fits on and you can turn it to the side and you turn it that side and you can do whatever way you like but you've got a good firm handle to do what you want you can paint away however you, you wish to do so and there are a little quick example a bit of a bit of how you would attach with the bra well you wouldn't you'd do better than that but uh, you get the idea and then when you finish doing things on that one you can put it to the side and you could pick up the next one which has got a little plastic base and plop it in there and there you can have a go at that cello, who I really must paint. He's a fantastic miniature. Jeff Gray sculpt, I think. Dark Sword, that one. And works for slotters too. If you mount your thing in already on the slotter, and with a little bit of, um, oh, no, there we go, get it in frame, uh, a little bit of, um, of the bees putty underneath. There it is. 
clicks on as well. And there you go. And don't come off. So you're giving it a bit of a bit of a stake. So you're thinking, well that's alright, Tim, you know, that that's that's alright, but what about a bigger miniature? How is that gonna fare? Well, this chap is bigger. There he is. Now that is an old grenadier Giants Club Chaos Giant. And I've picked him A because he's big and gawky and you know, all gangly sort of thing, but equally cast not in lead free pewter. When this was made, lead was still very much a constituent. So this is quite heavy. I'll take a shot of that and you can see what it is. But anyway, he clicks on there and there you go. Completely suspended. Up and down. I'm not going to go too mad with him because obviously I don't want to break him. But there you go. So these are quite good. They're quite strong. And uh, hopefully will enable you to... All right, perhaps paint a little bit better, but a little bit easier. It's easy just to swap over. They were useful for sculptors too. I don't quite know quite how you'd um, stick in your armature, but uh, I'm working on that. I'm working on perhaps being able to put a cork, cork top on or something. But there we go. So that is the Miniature Heroes painting handle, Mark II. That's not to be confused with the Mark I. Uh, just go through the stats. 45mm diameter, roughly 25mm high, metal disc, which is a piece of just ordinary mild steel put in the bottom. Painting handle is about 115 to 120, they do very little bit, but as I say, each one is handmade. Uh, rare earth magnet put in the top, plain base on the bottom, in case you do want to put just a, a piece of plasticine or a piece of bees putty on and stick your miniature on and that way, and you just use it like that. And of course this does stick to other metal things. Um, I haven't got another metal thing here. There we are. There's a lid. Doing. So, so you can, alright, mount them on different bits and bobs if you want. So, as I say, I make these myself in the home workshop. So, there could be a bit of a wait for the next run, but let me know if, uh, if you are interested. There is a range available in the shop now, and uh, if you're interested, I'll be very pleased to sell you one. Thank you, and uh, till the next time. Bye-bye.